Welcome to this video about the use of the new network system. In the Maxwell Vendor Installation folder, there are three applications called Maxwell Manager, Maxwell Monitor and Maxwell Vendor Node. They are the components of the network system. In fact, they are shortcuts to the network.exe application. Copy the manager, monitor and render node shortcuts to the desktop. This is the machine that will work as the network manager. On each CPU that will work as a render node, you will also have to run the render node shortcut. Each render node in the form will need a Maxwell Render installation and render node license. In the Maxwell Render installation folder of the render node, search the render node shortcut and copy it to the desktop. Run the render node. Now this CPU is available to work as a render node in the network. In the manager machine you should run the Maxwell Manager icon. This is the program that will submit the jobs and collect the results. In the manager console you will receive important information about the rendering process. You can see that it has found all the render nodes available in the network. Now run the monitor icon. With this element you will be able to monitor the network processes, submit and kill jobs, check the state of the render nodes, etc. This is the monitor interface. At the top you will find the main menu. The file menu contains the preferences panel. It allows you to open the temporary folder where the jobs are stored temporarily, purge the temporary files or clear the console messages. The jobs menu allows you to add, stop and remove current or finished jobs. You can also preview the current rendered image and open the output folder where the final renders are stored. The window menu allows you to show or hide the four main panels. And the help menu provides access to the Maxwell Render Help section. The Jobs panel is where you will monitor the evolution of each job. You can also add, stop and remove any job directly using the buttons. The Nodes panel displays the render nodes available in the network, their IP address and their state. You can group several nodes together to treat them as one single entity. You can reset any node that has gotten stuck by hitting the reset button. The console panel gives you important information about the rendering process. The display panel allows you to display a job when it is finished or while it is being rendered. Now let's add our first job. Hit the add button. This is the network job wizard which will assist you to submit the job. There are four job types, single, cooperative, animation and batch. We will start by submitting a single job. Choose this when you want to launch scenes one by one to be rendered separately. Select the scene you want to render. Choose the paths for the output image and output MXI. You can drag the folder icon over another to copy the path. It is very important that the two output folders are network paths to make them accessible to all the nodes to store the finished job. You can change some parameters in the scene if you like. The next window allows you to choose which nodes in the network will render this job or you can choose to use any available node. Hit finish to submit the job.
As you can see, the job was submitted by the manager and the node is now rendering it. You can see the progress of the render in the Jobs panel. If you remotely open the render node, you will see the render node console while working and you can open the temporary folder where the files are stored during the render process. You can select a job and hit the preview button to display it. You can see the display request in the monitor console and in the manager console. The render is displayed in the preview window. You can display any job at any moment while rendering or after the render has finished. The jobs window will show when a render has finished. You can submit as many jobs as you want and create a render queue. Now we are going to add a cooperative job. Choose cooperative from the job type list. For a cooperative job, all the available nodes work together on the same frame. Choose the scene file to be rendered and the output image and DEMXI paths. Remember that the output path should be a network path. You can specify which nodes will work together on this job. For a cooperative job, all the available nodes work together on the same frame. Each node renders separately and the manager merges the final result to reach the desired sampling level. You can display the contribution of each node or the merged final render resulting from the contribution of all nodes. During a cooperative job, each node stores its render in an individual MXI into its temporary folder. You can get those individual MXIs from the temporary folders. When the render finishes, all the individual MXIs are sent to the manager, which merges them together into a high quality image using the MXI merge application and stores the final result in your desired output folder. Cooperative mode is the best option for rendering big images. If you want your manager CPU to also work as a render node, you just have to run the render node icon. The new available node is detected by the manager and is displayed in the monitor nodes list. It is now ready for rendering. Now we are going to launch an animation job. 
This option has been created to render a sequence of frames. Select Animation Job in the Network Job Wizard. Select the first frame in the sequence, indicate the frame range you want to render, your output folder and adjust the render settings. The changes you make here are applied to all the frames in the sequence. You can also indicate which node or nodes you want to render the job or allow the manager to use all the nodes available. As you can see, each vendor node takes a frame and renders it. While they are rendering, they store the resulting image and TEMXI in their temporary folder. When one node finishes a render, it sends the resulting image and TEMXI to the manager, which stores it in your desired output folder. The render node is then available again and takes the next frame to render. Of course, you can display a render at any time. Finally, we are going to launch a batch job. Select batch job in the network job wizard. This mode allows you to make a multiple selection to render several scenes. It is similar to automating several single jobs. You can use the same render settings defined in each scene or set new render settings. The settings you change here are applied to all the scenes in the batch. A batch job can work in cooperative mode, all the render nodes work together in the same frame and when finished all of them start on the next frame, or in single mode, each frame is rendered individually by an independent node. Again, you can include or exclude any render node from the batch job or use all the available nodes. You can see that each node takes a scene from the queue and starts working on it. A batch render is useful when you want to perform general changes in the settings of several scenes or to quickly set a render queue. As you can see, the new Maxwell Render Network System is an extremely useful tool to help you in your rendering jobs designed to reduce your render times while it is very easy to configure. For a more in-depth explanation of all the Maxwell Vendor features, please consult the Maxwell Vendor Manual. Thank you for watching this video. Get more free Maxwell Vendor tutorials at our official Think tutorial website at think.maxwellvendor.com.